Let's talk about the three types of markets in real estate, the three types of real estate markets. And the first type of market is the primary market. What is the primary market? The primary market is you buying directly from the ancestral owners. We call them the homeowners. So that is you buying from the primary market. And it means you are buying a virgin land. That's when, when you want to buy. The only kind of document that is available is, most times, is just the family receipts. You are the one that will now go and pay your deed of assignment, then you buy from the family. So that is the primary market. Some of them that are advanced, they usually go for C of O, but majorly, in most parts, and that's the kind of land you buy and you see the title as free old. Free old. So there's no government interest in it. But however, however, when you are buying from Omonile, and that's why many people are skeptical, many people are afraid when it comes to real estate investments, especially when it comes to land banking, land retailing, they are afraid. Why? Because for you to deal with Omonile, for you to engage them, you need something called cultural intelligence. Cultural intelligence. You need it. Without it, forget about it. And you are going to apply this cultural intelligence in hand in hand with your property lawyer with your whether your company lawyer but make sure the person is a property lawyer i continue to say this i have my reasons i will make a video on why you should i prefer a property lawyer than a generalist lawyer so you need cultural intelligence in dealing with your money number two is you need to know about communal interest communal interest what is happening in the community and also doing your due diligence. Your, the kind of due diligence you will do when you are buying from the primary markets is different from when you are buying from the secondary markets. So what is the secondary markets? Secondary markets means those people have now bought from their moneyless. Now they are selling, more or less like they are now doing land retailing. So that's where real estate company comes in. So you may decide to buy from a real estate company you may decide to buy from a cooperative society. You may buy from land bankers. Land bankers usually buy from the primary market or at times they buy from the secondary market. Because the reason why land bankers also buy from the secondary market at times is they want to play safe. They don't want to deal with these people called the Omonile. They don't want to deal with Omonile. Because the truth is, the Omonile could actually be troublesome, could actually be chaotic at times. But when you know, just like I said, you need cultural intelligence with hand in hand with your property lawyer. Don't do it alone. So, land bankers usually prefer at times to buy directly from the real estate company because they know that they are going ahead to undo the homeowners. So, land bankers, then the land retailers, that's when you are buying from the secondary markets. So, what is the last market? The last market is the tertiary market. That's when you buy from the government. Those are the late commas. Late commas. Buying a place, now selling for 30 million naira, 25 million naira, 40 million naira per plot. That's when you are buying from the tertiary market. When you also go for to the government to buy land, the, the buying land from the government is not cheap, especially in this issue of government allocation when the land is under committed acquisition. Majorly, just like I said severally, that it is to generate income. It's just a, a revenue generation strategy for the government. That's why you see many lands under uncommitted acquisition. It is just to generate revenue. So when you are buying, you are applying to them for government allocation because currently I think uh, a state like Lagos State is no longer using a session document. What they are issuing is government allocation and they are selling the land to you. So you are buying from a tertiary market. It, it doesn't come cheap. And at times you have to buy from them and you also buy from the money. Like, but in some cases, once you buy from the government, you are good to go. Then you buy from the land flippers. Land flippers, majorly, they are retailers. They have a retailer mindset. So I think with this, I've been able to enlighten us on the three types of markets you are buying from. Is it from the primary market or directly from the source? Is it from the secondary markets or from the tertiary market? Okay, let me quickly say this. When you are buying from the secondary markets, what you need to know, the basic things you need to know is how genuine, how authentic, how credible 
are these people you are buying from? The real estate company, the cooperative society, the land bankers, the land retailers. How genuine are they? How authentic? How credible are they? So that is majorly what you need. So you can say that you don't really need much research on like when you are dealing with the money there. When you are buying from the primary markets, so your due diligence here will be at the topmost level. But when you are dealing with this, you only need to majorly just go online, search the name, look for the name, okay, look at their track record. So, thank you so much. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, do so by clicking on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we release a new video. We talk about real estate, business, finance, and personal development. So, we meet in our next video. Stay blessed.